We are almost to the end of authenticating users. So it's kind of funny. You think maybe the login page is where you would logically start, but it's actually just about the last thing <laughs> that you do when you're creating a signup flow. So the I've got a new I've got a new login route here, and it looks almost identical to the signup route. It's got all the same modules. The UI is almost the same, uh, but I've still got them separate because they're just barely different in little unique ways. So. I'm going to review what I've got in here for my validate and queries, and then we'll just bang this out real quick. So validate looks about the same as the sign up one, except for we don't have to check for existing accounts. We can just validate uh, this stuff before we really go try to log them in. And then over here in our queries module, I've got the login function. It's going to go find an, find an account from my database. Uh, if it doesn't find one, then you're not logged in. Uh, if we do find one, then we're going to hash the password the same way as we did when we stored it. And we'll compare what we just got from the user to what we have in the database. And if they match, you're in. And then we will return the user ID. And so now I can come over to my route. And I've done a little bit of code here already. We're going to bring in the form data. We're going to validate it. Check if we got errors, if we got them, return them. You'll find that in Remix, uh, it's a lot of rinse and repeat, like features. Um, they, they work about the same. Make a form, make an action, change some data, return values, or redirect. It's just kind of rinse and repeat. It's really fun. You get to get through the boring parts really quickly, and then you can go focus on the meatier stuff, like we're going to do in here with um, the drag and drop stuff. Okay, so... Yeah, here we're going to go. Oh, it's almost right. We're going to get a user ID out of my login thing. And then we'll say um, if there's no user ID, then we're going to say our errors. You've got invalid credentials. I'm going to say that. Well, invalid email or password. Yeah. Um, just a little tip. Uh, yeah, invalid email or password. Okay, we didn't talk about this JSON function yet. So this allows us to send um, a status code along with our data. So up here, we should probably do the same up here. Say JSON up here, and then we can say that it's a 400. And that way the browser is gonna get that status code coming back. Uh, but if we do have a user ID, then we're going to redirect. We'll just go back home. And then you know the drill here. Can you guess what we do? Let's see if Copilot knows. Copilot knows. There you go. Go boy, Copilot. Auth cookie serialize user ID. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to set that in the cookie. Let's see. Yeah, and uh, we got a max age in there. We didn't talk about this either, but you can override any of those options like max age. When you, when you serialize it, you can override those options. So these options back here, when you define the cookie, these are all just defaults. So you can just serialize it and not have to think about all this stuff, just define it once. Um, but you can override those things if we wanted to do a longer max age or something. But we don't. This is exactly what we want. We'll set the cookie. Let's go give this a shot. I don't actually know my password here. Oh, invalid email or password. I think I did an RP Florence too. I'm in.